Hi, I'm Chris, the Managing Director from Bioforce. We're about to embark on an essential journey to understand to combat whitefly infestations on tomato plants. Whitefly cause immense damage to our crops. Today, we'll explore the different levels of infestation and learn about the application of an IPM approach, including Encasia formosa, supported by soft, low impact agrochemicals to control these devastating pests. Our first tomato plant is currently experiencing a low infestation with one to five whiteflies per head of plant. While it might not seem concerning, it is crucial to take action before the infestation escalates. At this level, the whitefly population is still relatively small and confined to the heads of the plants. The damage is minimal, but all stages of life cycle are now present up and down the plant. Here is a great example of a whitefly egg. The newly laid ones are white, but as they become ready to hatch, they become black in appearance. To control the infestation naturally and without harmful chemicals, we can introduce Encasia formosa, a beneficial parasitic wasp. The recommended rate is one wasp per square meter multiplied by the average number of whiteflies per head of plant. These tiny wasps will lay their eggs inside the whitefly nymphs. They will then parasitize and kill the emerging whitefly. This is an example of a way we can utilize the tools nature has provided to us to protect our crops. This is a tomato plant with a medium infestation of whitefly, ranging from five to 20 whitefly per plant. The whitefly population is growing and the damage is becoming more evident. The whitefly population is spreading through the upper leaves, forming little clusters. Their feeding activity is causing some dirty and sticky looking lower leaves. Here we see an excellent example of a pupae. This one has been parasitized as you can see from its black appearance. At this stage, introducing Encasia formosa is still essential. However, it might not be sufficient on its own. If we observe a parasitism rate lower than 80%, we should consider using a higher rate of Encasia and a physical mode of action spray in the heads of the plants. This combination approach will help reduce the adult whitefly population and provide support to the natural control efforts of Encasia. A well-balanced approach is key to managing this medium infestation effectively. Now we confront the most challenging scenario, a tomato plant covered with a heavy infestation of whiteflies exceeding 20 per plant head. The whitefly population is overwhelming and it is causing severe damage to the plant. You can see the leaves are covered in a sticky honeydew, which is often colonized by black sooty mold. Here you can see an excellent comparison between all sizes and life cycle stages. This heavy infestation is threatening the yield of the plant. What immediate action should I take to control it? This severe scenario, introducing Encasia formosa alone, might not be enough. There is a huge population to control, and Encasia do not like dirty plants. Initially, we'll need to use regular applications of soft chemistries and physical mode of action products. This will significantly reduce the whitefly population and mitigate further damage. Once the infestation is reduced, we can introduce pirate bugs or lace wings when we can safely introduce Encasia. These beneficial parasitoid wasps will then continue to provide long-term natural whitefly control while the pirate bugs and lace wings will mop up the juveniles in all the dirty areas. So, by using soft chemistry to get the infestation under control first, we can ensure that Encasia will have a better chance of success in maintaining a controlled whitefly population in our crop. It's essential to create a favorable environment for the beneficial bugs to thrive and to keep the whitefly population in check. We can help this through careful selection and application of soft, low residue sprays. Let's take a moment to understand what physical mode of action and soft chemistry entails. Physical mode of action is exactly that, a spray that physically targets the pest rather than poisoning it. For example, a soap spray that has a sticking and smothering effect on whitefly. Soft chemistry refers to the use of insecticides with low toxicity to non-target organisms, such as beneficial insects, while effectively controlling the target pest. These chemistries have a low toxicity and low residual effect, 
making them a safer choice when managing pest infestations, because beneficials can be reintroduced to continue to suppress the pest shortly after their application. Striking the right balance between pest control and conservation of natural predators is crucial for sustainable agriculture. There you have it. Three infestation levels of whitefly on tomato plants and the power of a balanced approach utilising physical mode of action pesticides, soft ag chem and beneficial bugs to control these pests. Remember, early detection, a well-balanced approach and the strategic use of beneficial bugs combined with physical or soft chemistry can really help us protect our valuable tomato crops. Thank you for watching.